What is good, YouTube? It's your boy down back here with another build video, man. And today I got y'all with the glue, the thing that every pro am team needs, man. A hash lock. No, at pretty much at this position, it is at the two. It is a build that can shoot from the hash and play the top of the two, three slash lock up the other team's point guard, man. This is a very important position but all right we're gonna get right into the video but before we do make sure you do me a favor like up the video subscribe to the channel and check out some of my other videos on the channel man i pretty much got everything for anything you possibly need man they all the best builds as long as you make sure you do my number one thing that i tell you to do in every video man and that is make sure that the build the badges the takeover all match your play style but, all right we're gonna get right into this build um so first things first we're gonna start with the body setting so we're going with six four 188 pounds with a 6'9 wingspan. The body shape does not matter, but I would suggest going with built if you want to be a lock. I feel like you should look like a lock, so we're going with the built body shape. Now we can get started with the defense, man. Even though we are mainly using this build for defense and shooting threes, we still want the build to be very balanced, man. So first things first, we're going to start with a close shot. We're going to go pretty low on this one. Like I said, threes and defense. We're going to go with a 44 driving layup is going to be low too we're going to go with a 55 now this is where the finishing aspect on this build does come in for the driving dunk we're going to be going with a 75 like i'm telling you we are trying to make the perfect hash lock man so you do want to be able to dunk at least a little bit you got to be a slashing threat at least somewhat just to give your point guard enough enough space in case you got to cut you want to be able to knock those things down but all right now we're gonna get right into the shooting we're gonna start with the mid-range gonna put that up to a 73 it's not crazy high but it's just high enough so that you can hit those shots if you need to man if you get into a tight position where you you know you got to take that dribble forward uh you can knock that shot down now with the three-point shot we're gonna max that out at an 88 you already see most of the shooting badges light up you know what i'm saying we will be using a lot of those shooting badges on this build now the free throw we're gonna put the free throw up to an 88 as well you do want to make sure you are high efficiency at the free throw line because you you really won't get there a lot so when you do get there you want to make sure that you can knock those shots down now for the playmaking man i always like to have all my guards have at least 85 pass accuracy and that is honestly just so you can make sure you can pass the ball around the court and you're not putting the ball in too much danger when you're throwing it man pretty much any pro in build at least in my opinion should always have at least 85 pass accuracy and any guard any guard should have at least an 80 ball handle if you want to be able to use the build the most effectively so on this build we're going 85 pass accuracy we're gonna put the ball handle up to 85 as well just so we can get a lot of those important badges on at least gold you see we got hyperdrive gold tight handles gold so depending on how you want to use the how you want to use this build you can do different things i don't think unpluckable needs to be too high i don't plan on dribbling a bunch with this build but i do want to be able to you know do what i have to do and be effective at doing it so with the speed with ball we're gonna put that up to an 80. you see we get quick first step on gold another badge that i want to point out just to make sure that y'all see it you know uh glue hands glue hands is the most important badge on this build because this is a catch and shoot build this is a honestly it's one of those limitless threes build so you want to make sure that you are very good at those two things um one thing you can do to practice your time and honestly i made this build for pro-am and this is the build i'm going to be running on but i'm going to be testing out a lot in rec man and that helped me get everything right so so far we got seven finishing badges 25 shooting badges and 26 playmaking badges I'm pretty much just trying to get the best use out of all the attributes on this build. So for perimeter D, we this is a hash lock, a lockdown at the hash, or at least somebody who can take the best player, probably the point guard, on the other team. So you do want to make sure you have their perimeter defense up to a 94, and it's a 94 because you see when I drop it down to 93, Clamps only goes to gold. We want that on Hall of Fame. And I'm even thinking about using Menace a little more on this build. But we can talk about that more when we get into the badges. So for still, we're going to put that up to a 90 because we do want Hall of Fame Interceptor, man. That is one of the most important badges on this build. Because to be a hash lock, you got to honestly be able to play the passing lanes. You got to be able to on ball guard like you wouldn't believe. You got to be able to do a little bit of everything on the defensive end. And with that being said, I will be putting the rebounding on this build up to a 74 for the defensive rebounding and a 68 for the offense rebounding. Now, I'm not going to be using this build to rebound, but on those long rebounds, you do want to be able to get those. 
So, all right, now time for the physicals on this build. We will be going with a 90 for the speed and also a 90 on the acceleration. I don't feel like you need crazy amounts of speed. Even with those little fast builds, you'll be able to stick with them on this. Just make sure that you're sliding from side to side, not over committing, staying off that turbo, and most of all, knowing when to use L2, man. That'll save you so much time. There's knowing when to use L2. And last but not least, we want to put something on the stamina, and we're going to max it out at a 95. All right, total badge count on this build, 7, 25, 26, and 26. Don't forget, we do have those additional seven badges that we can use. I haven't put mine on my build yet because I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to use them, but I know it's going to be a combination of defense and probably shooting because I do want to get the most out of this build. Now, we're going to go ahead and get, continue and test out this build, but first, I'm going to show you the, the takeovers that I would use. So, this one is one of the ones where I would use two different takeovers. So, I do want to have limitless range as one of them because, like I said, this build will be shooting those limitless threes. And then for my other one, I'm gonna probably go with either enhance, jump shot, contest. May Honestly, any of these are pretty solid because this could get me more plucks, you know what I'm saying? Drop them pluckable a little bit. I'm gonna have pickpocket on, of course, and I'm gonna be trying to steal the ball. And this just helps you get those four stops. But uh, I'm thinking enhance, jump shot, contest will probably be the one for me. I run with a big that's pretty decent. He gets his takeover a lot. So I'll be able to get away with having something like this, you know, when he does get team takeover. We get we get those double takes now, all right that is it for the actual build itself and it goes with and it comes out as a two-way three-point playmaker shades of joe dumars tyrese halliburton and cj mccullum and if you think about it cj mccullum is honestly a pretty solid two guard man that's like the point guard i run with is a lot like dame so cj mccullum is honestly the perfect build for me all right let's go ahead and test this build so i can show you some of the badges that i would put on it i'm gonna even show you the progress that i've made or i might show you the progress that i've made depending on how long the video goes on the actual build that i made myself that i just started grinding using the rooftop method and if you haven't seen the rooftop method make sure you go to my channel man look for the video it's like one of the fastest ways to get your badges right now go ahead and check it out and here is the finishing badge uh, setup. This is all you need, in my opinion. I'm gonna go with limitless takeoff, posterizer, and slithery. The only thing that you might be missing, if you wanna use one of your seven badge points, I would say put unstrippable, maybe on bronze. I don't really feel like you need it higher than that. This build is not for catching lobs. It's for, you know, catching the ball, going straight to the rim, if you have to, or uh, just cutting back door, cutting from the hash. You know, you will be primarily playing on the hash, so cutting from the hash wouldn't be too big of an issue with this build. And this is the shooting badge set up before I added the additional seven badges. This is what I would go with for now, in case you don't want to add the badges to shooting or you don't have the badges to add to shooting. Um, I would go with the dead eye, stop and pop, catch and shoot, hot zone hunter, limitless spot up, and sniper all on gold. If you did want to save a couple badge points, you could take off sniper. Supposedly, it's not really that great of a badge. And maybe put blinders on, which would you know, add to your ability to shoot in case you get somebody behind you. This build does have uh, some ball handle to it, so you will be able to handle the ball a little bit. And that's why I have stop and pop on, but if you're not handling the ball, you're strictly just catching and shooting, you can take that stop and pop, put it on blinders, it'll save you a little bit in case your defender's off, off to the side of you or behind you. You know, this build is very versatile in that it can, you know, lock up anybody, still be that like two-way sharp type of build. And it can shoot pretty, I mean, obviously with being a two-way sharp, it's going to be able to shoot pretty well, but it also has playmaking, man. All right, we're going to get right into those playmaking badges. And once again, this will be my setup for the playmaking badges. And this is before I add on the extra extra badges that I have. So bullet passer, we're going to go with gold, hyperdrive on gold. Those are both just so we can make sure that we make those quick dashes to the rim with the ball in our hands. Uh, that's what hyperdrive is for. And then bullet passer, it, you need it on gold on pretty much every build that you're going to be using on in pro-am I, I can't stress that enough pro-am you really want to make sure you have bullet passer on gold because people play the heck out of those passing lanes uh glue hands now you can do that either on hall of fame or gold you don't see a huge drop off to gold uh, needle thread i like that on bronze a uh, quick first step gold at the at the minimum at the guard position i feel like you're not really losing too much speed then with a silver unpluckable and the silver handles for days handles for days is really just if you plan on dribbling a little bit if you don't, maybe take it off, put it on stop and go. Um, it really... <coughs> it 
really just depends on what you want to do with this build now all right time for the one of the areas that i'll probably put the most of those extra badges into is uh the defense man because this is a lot this is what i would do with it right here um pretty much you want to get those hall of fame badges where you're gonna need them so clamps definitely hall of fame interceptor hall of fame off ball pass that depends if you're gonna be playing the point guard on the other team the whole time you really won't need off ball pass like that i would drop that to gold um that also like if y'all not playing a zone um ankle braces chase down pickpocket those will all be useful badges like i said this is where i'm going to put most of those those extra badges that i have so it doesn't really look complete right now but this is the bad setup for what i do have at the moment but all right man that is pretty much it for the video i'll catch y'all boys in the next one but before you roll on out make sure you do me a favor like the video subscribe to the channel check out some of the other videos on my channel man i have pretty much a build for anything anything you can think of i got a build for it i even got playlists shooting guards all the way down to uh point guards centers i got it all, all right i'll catch y'all boys in the next one it's your boy don know about here peace